The creator of this video is weird. Gonna be honest, this is probably one of the most insane things I have seen in a while. There's a YouTuber known as Rocky Raccoon, and he's an animation YouTuber. He has over 3 million subscribers, and he has been making some weird content. What do you mean by that? and is uploading it to YouTube where his audience is primarily children and for some reason has been making content like this. Somebody stop me! Like, not only is that entire animation just weird, they decided to take the doll from Squid Game that literally represents a child and animated them, I guess, twerking up and down and just doing whatever that was. Why would you spend so much time editing and animating that and then thinking that's a good idea to upload? A thing which Rocky also does on his channel is they will take popular animated cartoon characters which a lot of people can easily recognize and will animate them into just sexual poses or just I guess inappropriate outfits because the more recognizable the more clicks. Take this one for example you have Sonic the Hedgehog everyone can recognize Sonic but the thing is he's not even in the video but this type of content is. Let's be real, they probably have lots of fun animating these. This comment is obviously a joke and not actual support, but a lot of people do defend this type of content. Rocky just also hearts all comments even when they're negative because, I don't know, he's kind of dumb maybe? And I don't want to come across like the fun police here, but I mean, this is just weird. You're clearly using a popular character to promote this video with an undertone of sexual content. Hey kitty, how you doing? Right, let's all just be responsible for a second and not just acknowledge the fact that this is total cringe. Would you be happy if your young child was watching this type of content? Obviously not, because it's weird and we can all see that it's weird. If we go back and actually talk about the Squid Game doll at the start of the video in the weird pose, Rocky actually did upload an apology video. It wasn't very good or even an apology video. He does the classic excuse of because it's a doll, it's not real, then you're the kind of weird ones for thinking it's weird. Just take a listen. So the Squid Game doll was basically doing the Jacko pose. I actually, I have actually made an apology video about this. I did not mean to in any way sexualize the Squid Game doll. I also did not... At first, I also did not that the girl was supposed to be a child and because it's just a doll. It's not a real person. It's just a doll. Yeah, dude, you're the only person in the world who didn't think that the doll from Squid Games was a little girl. Even the English dubbed version is a young girl. Damn it, guys, I guess we're just the stupid ones. We're the uncultured ones. Just because someone draws something which looks like a child, we're obviously the weird ones for thinking that it's a child when it's actually just animated art. Just because it's drawn or animated doesn't give it this immunity to what it clearly is. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt here. He somehow didn't think it was weird. The whole argument of because it's drawn, etc., and it's not real doesn't suddenly mean it's not what it clearly is. And you saying that we're the weird ones for thinking that doesn't really back your case. In fact, it just makes you look worse. So, the Squid Game doll, so I did not, at first I did not know the Squid Game doll was supposed to be a child. And then I, I when people start saying that I sexualized a doll, uh, I, made a, I made a terrible excuse. I said that I gave the doll curves and makeup uh, to make her look like an adult. Wait, so you thought as a bad excuse that because you put makeup on a child and gave it curves, that would somehow make it okay because they look older? Young girls and even guys can start wearing makeup from any age and often be wearing it from the ages of, say, nine. Don't quote me on that. But the point is that you thinking just by someone wearing makeup allows you to view them as an adult and put them in these type of videos is weird and highly inappropriate. I am generally curious, and this is only for the purpose of the video, when did you start wearing makeup? And I want people to know that if you are under the age of 18, you are still not an adult. Just making that very clear. Uh, because my perp because my purpose well, from the beginning was never to sexualize the doll begin with. My version, uh, that the, the version I drew, uh, did... I never intended for it to be a child under 18, um, and 
Yes. So the Squid Game doll thing. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, you just can't really defend this guy at this point. He also started crying at the end of the live stream, and he also had this to say. <laughs> <sighs> there was supposed to be a new video today, but I wasted my time doing this live stream. I was supposed to be making a, a new video today, but I... <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I did not have the time. I had to focus all my energy into responding to all the allegations. I mean, yeah, dude, if I had allegations against me being weird towards kids, I think clearing up those allegations would be more important than a video making content which is causing those allegations. But the crying actually gets worse. I suppose that... Some of you don't want to be my supporters anymore. <laughs> and I understand that. To be honest, I don't really know how anyone who makes this type of content has supporters. And if you need to know why you're losing your supporters, it's because of content like this. Act like a Pop, smack my pussy. <laughs> This is a copyrighted song and I can't really do anything about it. Can somebody please tell me how this even gets onto YouTube? I say one bad word and I am demonetized into oblivion. But hey, have some highly edited music and some weird animation, you're good to go. Make some money, baby. For a channel as well, which obviously has an audience of young children, they actually have a Patreon, which you can just imagine the type of content they're posting on YouTube. I can only imagine what is going on on their Patreon. They actually have a Discord access, which we all know any creator who has a Discord access and they're making content like this, you just know it's going to be really fun in there. I think large creators need to understand that hosting a Discord server with a young audience is not a good idea, especially if you are as blatant as this on YouTube and posting content like this. Just not a good combination. Also as well, charging access to join your Discord server or have contact with you on Discord, just know you are probably going to experience an absolutely demonic time. Oh, actually, Rocky Raccoon's head Discord admin actually posted a full Google Expose document on his Discord server. They didn't want to be associated with a server that would have people calling them PDF files. Yeah, that's, uh, that's understandable. They go on to talk about how they've known Rocky for years and he's always been weird and go on to talk about how people would join and just post content beginning with L, if you know, you know, and nothing would be done about it. I'm not going to show any of this document in the video as I don't want any jump scares. The Discord server, if it's still up, needs shutting down. But that's it for today's video, boys and girls. Let me know what you think about Rocky Raccoon. I would love to see what you say in the comments. Rocky, stop posting weird content like this. It's weird, man.